I'm on the board uh, as a grower. And um, this market went to a lot of effort, um, not the current group of board members, but a, a previous group, to create the rules for labeling. Um, and it was uh, an issue pushed very hard by we growers who do sell all our own products um, to ensure that all the customers would be aware of um, of anything that they were buying that wasn't homegrown. Because I think people have the impression that if you go to the farmer's market that everything's homegrown. And at some markets that's true, that's true. Some markets have, uh, mar different markets have different rules about the provenance of the produce and um, and the products. And some insist that, like the East Lansing market, for example, has 90% um, self-produced rule. Everything, you have to have 90% of what you sell has to be self-produced. The rules here are kind of more complicated and and um, there are some, some yeah, there, there are some folks that sell things that they've purchased elsewhere wholesale and, and so they sell things for other growers farm, farm direct. So there are three labels that apply to produce here. It's um, homegrown, farm direct, or wholesale. So homegrown, obviously, you grow it yourself. Farm direct means you directly know the farmer that you're purchasing from. And then obviously wholesale, you're just buying and selling. They did uh, uh, a survey here asking customers what was the most important thing to them. And that, that was it, was knowing, was labeling and knowing where things were coming from. So we've been making it a point to, to speak with people about that. The policy has been in place for I think three years now so it's been slow for everybody to kind of come around to it but more and more customers are really wanting what they really want is locally grown food uh, from people's farms so they've been asking for it and um, so the people have been definitely more educated and have been requesting it more so um, we try to make the policy so that if you were a customer and you stood in front of the table that it would be really clear where the produce came from so that was kind of the intent behind the policy so a large sign would be good to, so that people know that there's three different categories that would be that would be clear um, the customers ask me to ask questions, and more customers do ask questions. Did you grow this? Where is this from? And um, so, yeah, the, the more educated the customer, the better. You know, it's a, it's going to be a long process, I think. Um, but the more educated the consumer is, the more information they can find out. We have a market manager, um, Christine, who does a wonderful job, and they she works with the the vendors on setting up the rules and regulations. She is here every market day um, for the whole time of the market and she's constantly walking through so we'll see her four five six times a day you know, she'll walk by and say how's it going or you know you need you don't have this on that label or whatever any problems so she does a really good job and I think that's added to the the popularity of the market